CataractCoach.com, tips to improve your Faygo technique. After just 20 cases, this resident needs our help to improve further. So we're going to show you the whole video three times normal speed. I have no idea who this is. A totally anonymous resident sitting superiorly, obviously. I'd uh, first start off by saying that you want to get that lid speculum more out of the way. It's kind of right in the way of where you want to make that superior incision. Tripan blue dye going in. You don't really need it in this case. I'm not sure why you're using tripan blue dye. And here's where I need the help from my audience. You guys listening? I need you to leave a comment either here on the YouTube link or on the Cataract Coach website. What's your advice to help this young doctor in training? So if you've done 20 cases, this is a tough case for you to do. The pupil's not that well dilated. Not sure how the head position is. Again, that speculum's kind of right in your way. You definitely want to choose a different speculum or adjust it. That's better. A little better. I'd adjust it even more. Uh, the incision is okay. Not terrible. I'll live with it. I wish you had fixated the eye a little bit better. Looks like those um, colibri forceps are upside down. Now look at that. Loss of visible eyes. The pupil's coming down even smaller. This is going to be a challenge for 20 cases in. You need some help here. So maybe that's some anesthetic. Oh, there you go. Starting to dilate. Maybe that had epinephrine. Maybe it had phenylephrine in it. Something. But that's, oh, look at that. That's helped a lot. Good move. I'll give you a proper uh, appreciation for that. That was a good move. Look at that pupil dilating up much more uh, widely. That is great. Fixating the eye, starting with a cystotome. Okay, and getting a rexus done here. Not too bad. I got a nice little flap turned over there. Now, the tripan blue dye didn't appear to do a whole lot. I don't see much blue dye on that capsule. So let's see. Oh, see that hit in the side of the incision? That's my title slide picture. You want to float in the incision so you don't cause those wrinkles. Any wrinkles you cause in the cornea, you're going to see them tomorrow. Now, that's a baby rexus. It's going to be a challenge. It is continuous. I'll give you that. It's pretty circular. But that's a baby rexus. This is going to be a lot harder. Now look at the tear film. Look at that nasal canvas. All that fluid building up with the oils from the tear films. Looks like the eyelid margin was not well sequestered. So again, that's just going to make your view even worse. It's going to give you more of a challenge. You're 20 cases in. You want all the help you can get. Let's see with the FACO probe. See what we're going to do here. Again, get that speculum out of your way a little bit. So keep that back in primary. Let's see. Again, keep in mind that's a baby rexus, so don't damage the rexus edge. And what technique we got here? So a groove down the middle. Okay, I'll take that. Again, look at the prochingium. Just try to keep them in the center of the cornea. You want to keep this eye centered up. So there's a good, that's a good crack. I'll take that and, and rotating a 180. You've got good hands. There's no question you're going to become a great surgeon one day. But let's start fixing some of these little problems now to make your life even better. So it looks like a divide and conquer technique. And then let's see, can they, you achieve a crack there as well? So again, not ideal. So in this thing, I'd have the patient lift the chin up. And that'll give your eye a lot better positioning. So chin up for the patient. Because right now it seems like you're chasing the eye around a little bit. And so you can see it's not staying centered to those three lights, the Purkinje images. They're not in the center of the cornea. That's a problem. you got to float in the incision, keep the eye in primary. The eye is not in primary. See those Purkinje images are now over the incision. So you got to fix this positioning. Your patient positioning is not great. There's a video on cataractcoach.com for patient and surgeon ergonomics. You want the patient's iris to be parallel to the floor of your room. So now that's a lot better, a lot more in primary. But when you have the instruments in the eye, that fell out of primary. Look, your technique is great. Your technique for 20 cases in, that was a very nice divide and conquer. But we've got to work on some finesse things. Again, the draping, the speculum, the patient's head position... Floating in the incisions, keeping the eye in primary. These are so much more important. Now, obviously, this video sped up and we've, you know, kind of cut, cutting through it very relatively quickly. Your goal is not e uh, speed in this, in this time. It's just not. Don't worry about speed. In fact, don't even worry about efficiency. Worry about precision. Keep the eye in primary. Keep the eye centered up. Float in the incisions. 
Those are your important lessons at this stage of your learning. So let's fill up the capsule bag here. Let's see what we got. And I'm going to load up a lens. Oh, good. You're going to load it yourself. I agree. I like residents to load their own lenses. Looks like a single piece acrylic lens. And let's see. That's going to go into the injector. And that's going in the correct orientation. I think it is. Looking good. Push it down there. Looks like an Alcon SA series lens. And let's get this thing delivered inside the eye. So... Good job. I like the two-handed delivery. That was really good, actually. Really nice. Let's get that thing folded, um, into, opened up in the capsule bag, unfolded. Now look at the Rexus. Six millimeter optic. That's a baby four millimeter Rexus. Look at that, right? You know it's true now. Even going behind the lens. So I think you are doing a great job. You have fantastic hands for 20 cases in. But let's not have sloppy issues here. Fix the draping, fix the head position, fix the speculum, keep the eye in primary, float in the incision, don't distort the cornea. You start with those things, we'll be great in the future. I think you want to keep up the good work. You're doing a beautiful job here. And then keep those basic things in mind. And oh yeah, next time, remember, you heard it here first, no baby Rexus. We don't want a baby Rexus. So good job. Thanks for submitting the video. And I encourage my other viewers, please chime in here. Type a comment down below, whether it's here on YouTube or on cataractcoach.com, and let this young doctor know what do you think could be done to improve this case. Thanks for watching.